Welcome students. Let's learn a new lesson, our need for food. Can you tell? This girl had become very thin and weak during her illness. After a few days, she recovered and became fit and healthy again. What helped her to recover? In the illness, this girl did not feel like having enough food. There was some wear and tear of the body too. But after her recovery, she resumed having a regular diet and therefore she became fit and healthy again. Let's see what makes this baby gain height and weight. Baby's mother gave him some milk when he was small. Later, she also gave him some simple food. Due to such feeding, the baby gained height and weight. Let's see why do we feel hungry? A body must function properly. That is why we need food. Food helps our body to grow. It helps to repair the wear and tear of our body. It also gives us the strength we need to work. If we don't get enough food, we feel tired. Vigor is lost. At such a time, we feel very hungry. If we eat a little, we feel better at once. When we work a lot, our body feels fatigued. It makes us very hungry. Like us, all living things need food. Let's learn some new terms. Oil cake. The fibrous part that is left after extracting oil from seeds such as groundnut, sesame or cotton seed is pressed into slabs. This is called oil cake. Ambon. A fermented mixture of oil cake, jaggery and coarse particles of grain mixed in water and used as animal feed. To each their own food. This means that all living things need food, but all living things do not eat the same kind of food. People who keep cattle feed them grass and hay and also oil cake and ambon. Besides grass and hay, horses are given Bengal gram that is harbara soaked in water. Goats and sheep eat the leaves of various kinds of shrubs besides eating grass. Cats love to drink milk, but they like mice just as much. They also hunt and eat birds such as sparrows, doves and pigeons. Dogs may eat chapatis or bakris, but they prefer to eat meat. People who keep dogs or cats give them meat and fish also. In forests, animals like the deer, bison and nilgai eat various kinds of green grass and leaves. If there are crops growing in fields nearby, these animals finish off those crops too. Wild animals like the tiger and lion live in deep jungles. They hunt other animals and eat their flesh. Usually, these animals do not hunt in human settlements, but Sometimes, when they are starved, they are forced to enter nearby villages. Then, they kill and carry away cattle. Many times, foxes dare to enter human settlements, but they are not as strong as tigers. They cannot kill cattle. They are mostly content with stealing fowl. Let's see what birds eat. We see many differences in what birds eat too. Many birds eat grain. Farmers grow a variety of cereals and pulses in their fields. As the crop becomes ready for harvesting, the years become full of grains. Birds in the surroundings come in flocks to feed on them. They can destroy the crop. What is done to prevent such destruction? Yes, farmers set up a scarecrow and use slingshots when the crops in their fields are ready for harvesting. It is easily possible for birds to find grains in areas where people live. That is why some birds live in such areas. Other birds feed on other kinds of food. Hence, eat worms. Crows eat the flesh of dead animals. Some birds eat the fruits of trees. We see many small animals around us. Let's see what do they feed upon. Bed bugs suck people's blood. Ticks suck the blood of cows and buffaloes. House lizards and chameleons eat insects. Caterpillars and some insects nibble at and eat the leaves of plants. Butterflies 
feed upon the nectar they find in flowers. Animals eat the food they find in nature. However, they have to wander from place to place in search of food. There are many types of mosquitoes. Most of them suck the sap from the plants. Only a few types of mosquitoes suck our blood. Let's see the food of plants. Plants too need food, but they cannot move from place to place in search of food. Then, from where do you think they get their food? The roots of plants absorb water from the soil. Some substances from the soil are dissolved in this water. This water reaches the leaves of the plants. There are many tiny pores or openings on the surface of leaves. They are so tiny that we cannot see them with our eyes. Air enters the leaves through these pores. Thus, air and water come together in the leaf. In the presence of sunlight, plants make their own food using the water and air in the leaves. A plant's food is made in its leaves. Sunlight is necessary for this process. Always remember, the entire living world depends on the food prepared by plants. Thank you and please like, share and subscribe.